Yo, what's going on guys, Wolfman here with an update for GTA Online. Now, this is kind of going to be a series, but it's more going to be a series of videos of information and updates once I come across them. This is not any official GTA 6 stuff or anything, this is just some things in the free moding of GTA Online that you might want to watch out for. So, first off, this is just going to be one video per topic, because this is at the moment, this is the only thing I've come across. Uh, I haven't got any gameplay of it, unfortunately, but my words are true. Now, one day I was going along GTA Online, and there was this guy doing the beast mode with the uh, going for the landmarks and everything. However, he was not going for the landmarks. He was going around killing people um, constantly over and over again. And you're probably wondering, why is this important? That is nothing new to the game. Now, the free mode event with the beast. If you are the beast, <clears throat> you are invisible to the radar. You do not turn up on the radar whatsoever, doesn't matter what vehicle, you're in, what vehicle you're in or what you're doing, you do not appear on that radar. But the biggest downside is, actually there's two, this whole video is just a downside video, alright, this is just full of disappointment. So you don't appear on the radar as the beast. Uh, you can also use any weapons you want, any weapons you've got in your loadouts, you can use without issue or drawbacks. Uh, you can also get into vehicles, this is including uh, weaponized vehicles. You can also use the weapons on them weaponized vehicles. So that's including the Oppressor and the Deluxo and the Oppressor Mark I and the tanks and all of that. But the biggest downside of this whole thing is that this lasts for 30 minutes. So you have a complete straight half an hour of not being on the radar, being completely like undetected. You can use any weapons you want, you can use any vehicles you want. You're, you can jump pretty high. I'm pretty sure you, you're a bit more resistant to bullets as well. So this whole thing is just a one massive mess of just disaster. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way for Rockstar to change this. Um, if I was to change, like if I had, like right now, if I had the power and the technology to be able to change this, ways I would change is, you can't use weapons. So you can't use any weapons whatsoever, you can only use your fists. Uh, but to assist that, your health would be a bit more. And your uh, damage you can put out would be a little higher, because of the no weapons. You can get into vehicles, but you can't use weapons in vehicles. So any cars with weapons, you can't use. Because these landmarks, they're pretty, they're pretty far apart. Um, but yeah, those are the things that I'll change. But yeah, next time you see a beast mode get activated, just remember that this person is going to be off the radar unless they go anywhere near landmarks. So, just kind of, if it's you, if that's what you're into, then fine, do that. I'm not going to like you for it, but, you know, do that if you want to. But just be wary, if you see someone with a beast mode doing it, know that they have full range of everything that you would normally do as, as a normal player, but given the benefits of a higher re bullet resistant health and being able to not be on the radar. And if you die while you're the beast, nothing changes. I think if you get if you die from a height, 
you're still the beast. You, I think you have to be killed by another player. I think. It's the only way I've managed to do it. I've only... I never really do it. Um, but the only way I've seen them die is by another player. So... But... That was just a little update. Like I said, these are going to be... As I come across them. So they're not going to be a regular thing, but... Yeah, so beast mode, you see it, just be wary, you're probably going to have someone come at you completely off the radar, nothing you can do about it. Obviously you can kill them, but if they're in a present mark 2, it's not going to be very easy. So, yeah, hopefully this was helpful, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, also leave any comments you got. Uh, if you did enjoy, please subscribe, and if you do enjoy more, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of any further updates or videos onto the channel. Along with the Facebook group that I have recently made. Also linked in the description below for screenshots, photos, clips of any games you want. No matter what it is, put it down there, share it with people, make new friends, all that blah blah blah. blah. And I will see you next time. Uh, probably in a another GTA video unless I have a reaction suggestion also bearing in mind if you have any videos you want me to react to also leave them in the description below or if you've got a GTA video you want me to react to leave that down there and I'll do that as well so peace out like comment and subscribe and I will see you all later